Hello everyone, this is my first YouTube video and in this video I'm going to show you how I made over this old playhouse that my neighbor was throwing out into what my mom calls a luxury doghouse condo. So keep watching. In this clip I'm just adding some boards to the back because that section was open and I wanted to close it up. Now I'm taking apart some of the house. I'm going to reframe these windows so I'm taking those off. I'm going to be taking off some pieces on the side and you'll see me take off the roof so that I can sand and paint that later. These are the pieces from the roof. What you'll see me doing is sanding them down. Then I put a coat of paint on them. And then off camera, I put a coating of two part epoxy on the part that would be exposed for extra protection. So you'll see at the end where these pieces look extra glossy and that's because I added the two part epoxy on top. That was something that I did not purchase, but just something that I had on hand already. So in this part here, I'm reframing the windows because I took the original windows out. This was the most frustrating part of the process. I actually measured wrong the first time, so I had to do it all over, cut the pieces all over again. That's why you'll see me do that little dance because I finally got it right. And here are the original little plastic green windows. I just painted them gold. So this is a big fast forward. I ended up doing a lot off camera after the windows. You'll see that I did a little plywood. I would say it was probably a half inch plywood on the walls and on the floor. Those were actually plywood sheets that were left in my garage by the previous owners of my house. I did not purchase that product. I just used what I had on hand and cut it to fit the walls and the floor. So behind the walls, there is a thin layer of insulation and then the plywood. Um, the white spots are where I patch the seams with joint compound and here this yellow section is just some spray foam that got a little bit too messy because I didn't know what I was doing. This gap right here, I actually ended up filling in with spray foam as well and then cutting it and sanding it down. You can kind of see the insulation in the windows there. In the next couple of clips, you're gonna see me sand the inside and the outside of the house to prep it for paint. Here comes my supervisor. This is Noki the Korean Jindo. Please leave me a like if you think my supervisor is handsome.
now I am installing the flooring. I did this entire project on a budget, so I used as much as I could from what I had on hand. This is some leftover groutable vinyl tile that I had from when I installed the flooring on my porch. So you'll see me grout the tile and then what I did off camera was I used a tile and grout sealer and added that on top. One, it adds glossiness and two, it adds extra protection since this is going to be outside. Here I'm putting the pieces back on the roof. This is that. This is where you can see that glossiness that I was telling you about earlier where I added the two-part epoxy over the paint. out the bottom of some garden trays um, these were free I did not pay for these my mom gets these when she buys a large number of plants from the garden center she actually has a garden channel if you guys are interested in gardening or cooking her channel is called mama J's garden um, I cut out the bottom of these and I'm gonna be using these because I like the detailing for the front of the house so you'll see me putting those on here Here I'm adding some lights and some flower pots to the front of the house. I used some solar lights and flower pots from the dollar store and spray painted them black with black spray paint that I also got for a dollar. I used an old curtain rod for the rail and just spray painted that black as well. Um, you may see me sitting down in this clip and that's because I'm waiting for my mom to put flowers inside of the flower pots again she has her gardening channel that is mama j's garden if you are interested in gardening or cooking um, you'll see me put on a house number also and the 318 on the house number is the date that i started this project i started this project back in march Here is the finished product. If you like this video or were inspired or if you learned something, please leave me a like. I actually plan on posting more videos of some DIYs and makeovers that I've done inside of my house and I still have a long list of things to do. So if you like this video, and you want to see more DIYs and makeovers on a budget then please subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.